Aki, green banana, dumpling and stir-fried kale. Stay with me. First, you need a green banana, spelt flour, easy to find, pink salt, also easy to find, and water, well, you know. Kale, aki, this is also easy to find at supermarkets, chopped onions, and chopped bell peppers. Alright, the first thing you want to prepare is the green banana. So first, snap the green banana from the bunch. And I advise that you cut the top and the bottom of the green banana off. And as you can see, I slit the back and then you begin to peel. This process can be extremely aggravating because the skin does not come off very easily. But just keep going at it. And this is what you should end up with. Now fill a large pot with boiling water. This is where we're going to put the green bananas in. So make sure that there's a lot of boiling water in there as you're going to be boiling them for a while. Next to flavour the banana we have to season the water so we start off with some garlic powder. some pink salt and basically what this does it seasons the water and it allows the banana to absorb all the flavors so it doesn't taste very bland now stir all the seasonings in bring it to a boil and then add your bananas Once the bananas are in, you can leave them and bring them down to a medium heat. For the next step, we are going to create some dumplings. This is very easy to make, so first we want to start with some spelt flour. And next we want to generously put pink salt. Now you want to use your hand and start mixing the solution together. Once it's mixed, get some water and add it to it gradually. Keep working at the dough until you end up with something like this. Now just rip off small sections and roll it in your hands into little balls. Now we go back to our pot with the green bananas and we get our dumplings and put them in. This is a great way to let the flavours spread from the bananas to the dumplings. After all the dumplings are placed, bring the boil down to a medium heat and then you can allow this to simmer from 30 to 40 minutes. This allows us to cook the rest of the meal. For the next step of the meal, we want to prepare our aki. So first, empty the contents into a sieve and then rinse thoroughly. Next, add some oil to a hot pan. Add chopped onions. chopped bell peppers keep stirring and once they've browned you are now ready to add the ackee to the mixture the reason why you don't want to add the ackee too soon is because it's very soft and it doesn't take very long to cook also when you're mixing the ackee please take your time 
it's very very fragile and you don't want to break the natural form of it it will turn into a yellow mush if you go too harsh on it so take your time now to season the aki I started with some pink salt garlic powder and some ground black pepper stir all the seasonings in keeping that steady hand make sure you don't mush up the aki too much and then leave it to simmer this takes around five to ten minutes tops finally the kale preparation this is the easiest part so first heat up a pan start sauteing some onions and the remainder of your peppers next add your kale to the pan the seasoning I used for the stir fry was just pink salt chili powder to give it a little bit of a kick garlic powder ground black pepper and some lime water this helps the kale to cook you can use lemon water too it also gives it a nice tang as well now cover it up and leave that for 10 minutes keep an eye on the green bananas and the dumplings to make sure that they're not sticking to the bottom and you're good to go ready to plate up Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like the recipe. I hope it tastes good when you give it a try. I know it will. If you like it, like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Peace.